What we're going to be doing today is learning how to sculpt a 3D butterfly with acrylic colored powders. So the first step in creating the butterfly is I'm going to build its little body first and its little antennas and then I will continue with the wings. So I'm cleaning my brush first into a nice point and I'm using a number four pointed crimped design acrylic design brush. So picking up a tiny little bead of a black colored acrylic is what I'm going to create the little head of the butterfly and it's just literally a little circle and I'm going to tap it just a tiny bit you can see that my control is pretty good because it's not running all over the place I don't have to chase it and if I want to make it smaller and a little tighter I'm just going to tap on the sides of it now that'll be my guide to start my butterfly then down here I'm going to create the little body of it and keep in mind you don't need a lot of liquid in your brush. So I'm going to pick up a little more powder than I did for the for the bot than, than I did for the head of the butterfly and I'm going to stretch out this amount of product. And then I'm going to shape it. Okay, and remember colored powder is very highly pigmented pigmented and it goes a long way. You don't need a lot. Also, if you start to build 3D designs with a lot of powder, you're gonna, they're just going to be really bulky and weigh the nails down. So make sure you use very little amount of product. If you have too much product or it's too wet, just continue to dry out your brush and then go back and work your product and it'll tighten it up. If you have excess, just remove it with your brush. Okay. okay, so I'm going to show you a double dipping technique with, with two different colors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one bead first to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to take blue on one side of my brush and then put purple on the other side. So as I place the bead and I blend this out to create a wing, it's going to have a variegated effect, well, which will be a really nice blend. Also, when designing your 3D designs, keep in mind that using opaque colors or solid colors is easier to build designs with. Anything that has glitter in it is going to run a little more and it's going to take more time to work the product into place. So I picked up one large bead and then I'm stretching it out to create the bigger of the two wings. So I'll press. For the bottom wing, I'm going to do white and blue. Let me show you that one more time. I'm picking up blue on one side of my brush, white on the other side of the brush. Placing it, and remember, after you place the bead, dry your brush out to have more control, and then work that product into the, where you want it. Okay, so I'm going to take white, and I'm going to let that liquid really absorb into that powder and then dry it out with my white because I want it to be really really white I want to make sure that I don't dilute it and use it too wet I'm going to place it here and then stretch it out and bring it down so everything really starts with a bead and it just depends on the angle of your brush and how you maneuver your product to create the shape that you want But the most important thing I think would be learning how to use your colored powders dry. That's what most people tend to do is use them a little too wet and you just lose control of the product. Okay, so an even smaller one. Place it, dry out your brush. And stretch it out. Okay, so once you have the base of the butterfly done, the majority of it, one thing I like to do is really incorporate a lot of my soak off gel colors into my acrylic designs. So I'm just gonna take a few little dots. You don't wanna waste any product either, so just a little bit is necessary. And a small detail brush. And I'm just gonna take and enhance my design by filling in with some color. And remembering that if this is not a paint, if you're using a gel color, you do have to add um, soak off gel top coat to that. Okay, 
Okay, so we're going to cure for 30 seconds. And an LED light, now if you were to be using a UV light, you want to make sure it's anywhere between two minutes and three minutes. Okay, so I'm just going to apply my Soak Off Gel Top Coat over my entire butterfly. And this does require 30 second cure or three minutes in, an, in a UV light. So one more time, we're going to cure. Okay, so the last step is going to be to wipe off the sticky layer. You can use your cleanser. Just give it a good cleaning and you're all done. Okay, so there is your 3D butterfly with acrylic and a little bit of gel polish to enhance the design.